In the first part of this series, we're going to learn the basics of navigation in desktop mode of VR. There are different types of navigation modes, which you can switch between during the experience. Each of those modes suits a certain type of scene. Before we begin, let us download the scene file that we will be working with. In your web browser, go to simlab-soft.com, then click on 3D products, and under Simlab 3D products, click on tutorials. Click on the training series, then choose the interactive VR experience. Download the platform 3D environment. Once the download is complete, go to the directory where you downloaded the file and extract its content. This is a packed scene, and as you can see, it includes the model file as well as the texture and the HDR image. Copy the directory of the extracted packed scene and open the sim file in Composer. The first thing that we need to do before viewing the VR experience is setting up the starting position. From the VR viewer menu, select Set Start Position. A character will be loaded into the scene. Click anywhere to snap it to where you clicked, or use the transformation tool to position it. Keep in mind that you can always select the starting position from the object tree to the left to relocate it anywhere you want. Now that we are done with setting up the starting position, from the VR Viewer menu, select Show in Viewer. In this dialog, we can choose whether to run the experience in desktop mode or in VR mode if we have a VR headset. Click on Desktop to run the experience in desktop mode. Use the up and down arrows on the keyboard to move forward and backwards. You can also use the W and S keys. To strafe left and right, use the left and right arrows on the keyboard, or the A and D keys. You can also use a combination of keys like up and right to move diagonally. To look around you, simply move the mouse. By combining the arrow keys on the keyboard and the mouse, you can move and look around in the scene with ease. If while moving you hold the shift key, you will move faster. The sprint mode can be useful when covering large grounds. Click the mouse wheel to reveal the VR menu. From this menu, click the navigation icon. By default, the navigation mode is set to walking, and you can set the walking speed by clicking on the icons at the bottom of the menu. Select the flying mode from the navigation menu. In flying mode, if you were to look up and press the up arrow or the W key, you will fly in that direction without being constrained by gravity. Flying allows you to explore larger scenes faster and gets you to places that are otherwise unreachable. If you switch back to the walking mode, you will be dropped to the ground at that location. To jump up, Use the spacebar on the keyboard. The third navigation mode in desktop viewer is the mechanical mode. The mechanical mode, as the name states, is suitable for examining mechanical designs, since you can set the focus on a single object in the scene. Scroll up and down the wheel to zoom in and out. Hold the left click and move the mouse to look around you. To focus on an object, double click that object. Navigating the VR experience in desktop mode is pretty easy and straightforward. It comes in different modes which allows you to explore different kinds of scenes with ease. 